Hi guys, Lee here at Lee's Gaming Corner, bringing you another Sunday edition of Indie Games Review. And in this review, we will be checking out Everyone's Gone to the Rapture. As per usual, we'll be going over a little bit of a basic storyline without going into too much detail. Going over the trophy list and everything like that. And, and my final uh, review final thoughts on the game whether you should buy or get it or not so without further ado yeah, before right. we get into this video don't forget to leave a like comment a down below right don't forget to push the way. subscribe button and push the bell notifications so you never miss a, an episode so without further ado let's get into this review so thank you very much for actually joining this um video review on everyone's gone to the rapture so the storyline is you start up <coughs> top of this hill here and you find everyone's disappeared. You do find these little lights which I'll show you when we get, actually get closer to the story. Which some of them you've got to follow, some you can just completely ignore. But you may have just seen it at the top there but I'll show you a bit later on. You're following the slow orb which stretches to the stories people's discussions <coughs> of what's going on and everything like that. This is just one point here where this is you've got to the story to actually progress through the gate and what's going on. I'm trying A little side note before we actually get two this. I will be keep skipping some of the storyline because I don't want to give it away. I thought I'd leave it for you to actually experience. So that is say is one point you've you've got to do to follow through the story. Now <coughs> if you see a little little light just floating around there, that directs you to um different stories, everything like that. Now we story of Jeremy. Each section has a different person's name and you follow their story, which all adds up to the end to the into the story <coughs> but you've got a little bit of choice to go through so that's all I'm going to say about the story because as I said I don't want to get um, ruin it for anyone who wants to actually enjoy it um, so next we're now going to talk about the um, trophy lists trophies you can collect for this game if you're a trophy hunter in this section of the video is where we're going to be talking about the trophies. So, there is actually 19 trophies for this game, and one of them is being the Platinum. Um, I'm going around this telephone box here, this is one of the trophies, you've got to sit in there for about approximately 5 minutes I do believe. So, <coughs> basically just sit in it, in the um, telephone box with the trophy five minutes and then the trophy should pop um, there is some collectibles in this one in this game as well and you may have seen one of them beginning going to the radio that's one of them another one is actually looking at the um, maps in each section that's another collectible there is one with a face with, an, with a nose you just see it right there there's three, three or four of them you've got to look at. So that's basically um, the trophy list. Just a few pointers. It is a uh, time consuming as you've got to. <coughs> you can't run, you can only walk. Um, it was collectibles, um, and you've literally got to go around and listen to all the story in the whole game. But I will p p point out there is a um, guide to f to follow it all. So you just follow the guide; it'll tell you where to go and how to and what to do. So that's a section of um, the trophy list. What I'm going to do now is going to show you the um, actual list itself using my um, my section, but my list of collectible trophies I've got for it 
So, and now we're back after we've seen those ones. Now onto the section where I'm going to give it a rating out of 10 and my recommendations if you should get it or not. Now, <coughs> the score I'm going to give it is going to be quite high. This is my opinion and my opinion only. Everyone's different. It's what I'm going to give it because I actually did, did enjoy the game. And I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10 just for the fact of giving it that score is because for me is it's um, I enjoyed it thing a thing I want is I want more stored games like this nice peaceful um, nice and peaceful left not so stressful Special good game for if you want to play the play a good game, but you had a hard day, too stressed to play any competitive styled games, but you know you could lose your lose your temper or anything like that. We've all we all, we've all done it. We all get those days where we lose our temper, we rage quit. This is kind of a game you probably want to play and get into. And not having to worry about um, getting stressed. So, yes, this is a game I do highly recommend playing. Um, if you ever get a chance, if you haven't already. But other than that, I think it's going to be one of those games I will highly recommend playing. So that's the end of this um, episode. I do hope you've enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below <coughs> if you've played the game or you've ever been. Is it going to be my kind of game? Just let me know in the comments so we can communicate and keep going with it. So, <coughs> thank you very much for watching. I'm your host, Lee at Lee's Gaming Corner. Until next Sunday for a next gaming review. I'll catch you then. Bye.